We are following some other news. New at 5, a frightening crime trend on the city's north side. Thieves are breaking into homes while the homeowners are still inside. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live from the Fall Creek neighborhood with more on this crime spree. Jack. Well, Todd, early yesterday morning about 6 o'clock, a homeowner chased burglars from his Fall Creek area residence. A half hour later, burglars broke into another home where they dragged the female victim from her residence. Her screams alerted uh, neighbors who then called police. And then two hours later, those same burglars went back to the first house where they succeeded in getting inside. It's day two of a campaign by East District Police to end a burglary spree in the Fall Creek neighborhood. That a team of detectives have gone door to door underscores the sense of urgency of apprehending those responsible. If you're that brave to go in somebody's house when they're there, um, you know, bad things probably could happen to the burglar. Yes. Or to the homeowner. Or the homeowner. Bad things have happened. In the past month alone, burglars have broken into or attempted to break into at least 27 area homes. I think it was two weeks ago, a lady down the street, um, her house got broken into and she, I think, jumped out of a window. If there is a common scheme and plan, it's that the burglaries have taken place early in the morning, mostly between 6 and 10 a.m. It's pretty scary when people are coming into your house when people are home, you know, sleeping. It's scary what's going on down here. And in some instances, the burglars appear to be conducting surveillance on the neighborhood, striking when homeowners leave the residence. Once I got home from vacation, that they had been upstairs, they were where I slept, you know, they took jewelry that was family jewelry, they went all the way around the bedroom. Burglars and thieves have targeted a number of homes and automobiles on Sutherland Avenue between Central and College. Alan Gregson had lived crime-free in the neighborhood for nearly 30 years until yesterday. It really makes you feel violated, to be honest with you. Someone, you know, entered your house and and took your goods out and of course they hit my neighbor also. Now Metro Police have stepped up patrols in the neighborhood and they're also urging residents to become more vigilant and Todd police urge people if they see something suspicious say something by calling 911. Todd. All right some scary stuff let's hope they get these punks off the street. Jack thank you. Police say you can minimize your chances of becoming a victim by locking your doors and your windows, record serial numbers, and take pictures of valuables and keep the list in a safe place. Don't put valuable jewelry in your jewelry box. And finally, consider purchasing a home alarm system.